Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to day one of the three day business breakthrough challenge. Super excited guys, within these next three days, I'm gonna show you how to build and launch your first online business. And this is something that totally changed my life. I was able to go from an electrical engineering job that I absolutely hated to doing this full time. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how this business model works and how you can have your business up and running by the end of these three days. Now I'm gonna go into the slides and guys, basically I'm gonna show you this three-step system that's gonna allow you to, number one, quit your job, number two, achieve financial freedom, and number, uh, number three is achieve time freedom. The goal of this is not to build a business where you have to you know, work 50, 60 hours in that business. I want you to quit your job so you can have the time freedom. That's the main goal for me, guys. After these three days, I want you guys to build the foundational things you need for that. Now, I, I wanna show you how I set this up to run on autopilot, okay? And how you can build this out for the long term. It's really, really important. I'm gonna explain that in just a little bit, all right? But this is the exact formula that took me from a nine to five job that I hated to quitting my job in just nine months, all right? Now, guys, the goal for me in this challenge, or the goal for you, what I want to happen for you, is I want you to have a crystal clear understanding of how you can build a profitable business online. There's so many business models out there, guys. Which one is the best one? But which one can build your business for the long term? Especially if you're gonna be quitting your jobs, you wanna be able to have a business that's gonna be long term and sustainable. Now, number two, I'm gonna give you actionable steps after every single day so you can implement and start immediately. This is not gonna be like one of those webinars or you know one of those fake trainings where it's like, oh, okay, here's a bunch of theory and this is not how you do it, right? No, guys, I'm gonna show you exactly step by step. We're gonna get in the trenches. I'm gonna show you how to build your business, okay? Number three, I'm gonna show you how to set up your business for the long term, okay? This is very important. Again, this this is a, that, like the main thing I teach is we don't wanna just build something that's gonna you know make maybe make a, a lot of money at first, maybe the first few years, and then the business model dies, right? That's not what I'm about. I wanna build a business that's long term and sustainable, right? I'm not gonna quit, like I didn't wanna quit my engineering job that I had benefits, I was getting almost a six figure income, um, to go into a business that's just gonna die in the next few years. No, I'm gonna show you how to build this out for the long term, which is really, really important, okay? Now, number four is I'm gonna show you how to leverage this extremely powerful business model to quit your job and achieve financial freedom, all right? Again, this business model allows you to uh, make enough income so you can quit your job, but what I like about it is you can leverage the internet and other people's products, and I'll get into that in just a bit, so that way you don't have to put a bunch of time into this, okay? I can set up this business now, and I can literally work on this one hour, four hours a week if I want. Now, I love doing this. This is literally my passion now, but you don't have to, right? You can set up this business and work not that many hours, which is like my favorite part about this business. I'm gonna talk about how that works in just a second, all right? Now let me get my face off so you guys can see the rest of it here. Number five is I'm gonna show you how to create uh, one system that creates multiple passive income streams, all right? This is really powerful because not only are we creating one income stream, we're creating 10, 20, 30 passive income streams that are paying us, right? That's gonna ensure that we're in this for the long term. And then number six, again, we're gonna have your business up and running by the end of, the, uh, of these three days. Okay, now guys, this is actually the second version of the three-day business breakthrough challenge. Um, and the first version, we had over 10,000 members take that challenge. Now, these are just some of the testimonials. I just wanna go um, through some of these, okay? Because a lot of people got their first commissions ever, whether it was a you know a $500 or $1,000 commission or even a $3 commission, people were seeing their first commissions ever with the first with the first version of this challenge. Now you can see here, Nate Bocker, he says, trust the process, everyone. Uh, Jonathan Montoya is an amazing coach and mentor. I've been through a few courses and there's none of them like uh, like Jonathan's course. So you guys can take a look at some of these. Uh, this is Cower here. High ticket commissions, thanks Freedom Breakthrough. And this is what I love seeing here, okay? 
She says, I got my first sale. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I feel like I'm at a loss for words, but I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing and celebrate later tonight. Guys, this is huge because a lot of people have tried things online, but they haven't seen success. So like seeing people get their first commissions ever is a game changer and I love seeing this. And this is one of my favorite ones here uh, at the top, right, okay? This is Fatima, she says, boom, got my first high ticket commission ever. Stay consistent, trust the process. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for creating such an, an amazing program. So guys, these are just some of the, of the uh, testimonials that I've gotten here. Uh, and there's so many more like like I could go through so many of these I just want to show you some of the, my favorite ones my favorite ones is when people get their first commission Even if it's like a three dollar commission like this one on the left here uh, By manual says first two commissions came in today Right after I finished the challenge not a lot, but it is progress take the small wins So they can accumulate to a big one now you can see here is only three dollars and fifty cents but what's, in, what's important is this is a game changer, right? Because now you're getting your first commissions ever. Now you're, you're, you know that this works, okay? You're making your first money online. And I'm gonna show you how this works in just a bit, okay? Just a few here more, um, you know, another one by Dorian. Uh, this system has changed my life. I will never stop promoting in about a month now. This person got over $100 in commissions. Um, Andre here, while I joined this morning and already got my first commission, thank you, Jonathan. Uh, so some people get commissions on the first day, which is really, really cool, all right? And then we got Will Tab at the right, uh, top right, he says, boom, my first high ticket commission with this program. It's been weeks of hard work, but I've been enjoying it so much. So guys, there's so many testimonials. I literally have hundreds and hundreds. Um, if you're in the three day business breakthrough challenge Facebook group, I, you can go through all of them. There's literally hundreds, but I just wanted to show you guys, this is gonna be the second version, which is gonna be literally 10 times better than the first one. So if you guys are watching this, you guys are gonna get so much more value than the first one. I'm really, really excited about this second version. Now, real quick, guys, before we get into the business model, I want to talk about how I started, a little bit about my story. I'm not going to go like an hour, okay? I just want to show you real quick, all right? Before I started this online business, all right, this is a screenshot of my bank account here. I literally went negative in the bank, okay? Like, because of my, my, you can see here, my house payment came out and I went negative. Uh, this was on May 10th, 2019. So, you know, at this point, this is where I started, I realized I needed to make a change, right? My, my nine to five job wasn't cutting it. And, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, I was getting raises here and there, like three to 5% raises, but this wasn't cutting it. And this is when I realized I need to make a change, okay? So five days later, and you can see here on May 15th, 2019, I officially started my online business and created my first video ever, okay? So I didn't even care, guys. You can see there's uh, there, you you can go to my YouTube channel, uh, Passive Income Lifestyles, and you can see my first video. This was literally in the living room. I had no mic, no equipment. I had a ugly webcam, and I just created this video. Okay, so um, you can see there now it's got a thousand views. At the time, it had like three views, but um, this is when I started my business. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't have a mentor. I didn't go through any programs. I just knew that I wanted to start a business. Okay, so. Um, so I started and then um, obviously I, I went through the process. I, I went through tons of different courses, you know, after I started. Uh, now on March 2nd, 2020, so about nine months later, and, and this is actually two weeks before the pandemic, I officially quit my job. And you can see here I posted on March 2nd, you know, I quit my $80,000 a year job today. Um, this was like literally one of the best days of my life. Like I, I can't explain how happy I was. Um, when I quit my job. Um, but since then, guys, um, you know, I've grown. And, you know, uh, this year we've done almost half a million, actually more than half a million dollars. Uh, but I, I do it in multiple income streams, right? Like I was saying in the beginning, I have over 30 income streams that pay me, okay? Now, I don't show you guys this to brag. I show you this because I want to show you the power of this method and in this business model and what's cool is like I can build my business I can build this one system and I can promote different products and I'm going to show you the business model but I just want to show you that you're learning from someone that knows what they're doing okay not only that I'm still in the trenches guys I'm still 
doing this with you guys. You know, there's so many like teachers and, and gurus out there, right? That, you know, they'll make a bunch of money and they'll, they'll teach their old business model. And then they don't do what they teach anymore. They're just selling courses. Guys, literally this is, I'm doing everything that I'm teaching, okay? I really want you to understand that because everything that I'm learning now, I'm, I'm showing you exactly what's working now, okay? And I'm gonna show you how this works, but I just wanna show you kind of the proof and that yes, I am earning commission and, and I do make money with this program or with this business model, all right? So guys, um, let me go to the next slide here. So let's talk about uh, the main issue when it comes to making money online, all right? Like there's obviously everyone wants to make extra money. Like most people wanna make extra money. Like a nine to five job is just not gonna cut it unless like you're a doctor or a lawyer and you're making a ton of money. Even then you don't even have the financial and time freedom or the time freedom per se. But the main issue when you're starting a business online is people don't have anything to sell, right? That's literally like the main reason, okay? Whether it's a physical product like a hat, shirts, electronics, or an online product, right? Uh, you know, people don't have eBooks, they don't have like a course, uh, they don't know how to start their own coaching program. And you know, if you do create a product, that can take months or even years to create something that people want or need. For example, guys, um, so when I first got into this online business, I actually created my own course, or I'm sorry, I created my own fitness program, okay? Now it took me six months to a year to create this fitness program. I launched this, and unfortunately, it didn't do very well, okay? So I had spent about six months to a year creating this, um, and then I launched it, and crickets. So that was unfortunate. Uh, but I did learn a lot, okay? So I'm not mad about that, but there's a better business model out there, and that's what I wanna talk about today, all right? This is the business model that allowed me to leave my nine to five job, and this was during a pandemic, okay? So this is pandemic proof. Um, this is, um, what's it called? Um, stock market crash proof, uh, uh, you know, all that good stuff, right? So this is it, okay? So basically, you send people to an offer that you don't own, all right? Because Again, we wanna be able to start this business today, and I'm gonna show you how to start this business within the next three days and get started. Um, but we're sending people to an, an offer, right? It doesn't really matter what it is. It could be a physical product, an online product, but it's a product that you don't own. Now, the, the reason you wanna do that is because you can get a business up and running today. You can start promoting a product that you don't own uh, now, the cool thing about this is obviously the owner will get a percentage of the sale, uh, but you will also get a percentage of the sale as well, all right? Now, this is called affiliate marketing, all right? Now, I'm gonna go into how I do affiliate marketing and why my method works so much better than most people teach, okay? Now, this is the advantages of affiliate marketing, okay? Again, you don't have to create your own products. You don't have to spend six months, a year, even two years creating software, creating books, hats, electronics, whatever it is, right? Whatever it is you want to sell, uh, courses, you don't have to go and create them. You can literally partner with people that already have like uh, products, okay? So that's number one. Number two is you don't need any inventory, right? So, you know, if, if it's a physical product you're selling like, uh, you know, Amazon products or you know, if you partner with Walmart, you can sell their product. If you partner with a course creator, you know, it's all digital. You don't need any inventory, okay? Um, I actually started an Amazon FBA course uh, probably back in 2016. Uh, if you guys don't know what Amazon FBA is, uh, it's basically you buy like a bulk amount of products from China. You send it to Amazon and then Amazon does the fulfillment. It's actually a good business model, but you need a lot of money to get started because uh, I think I spent maybe like $20,000 on these products. Uh, unfortunately, I bought these products. I sent them to Amazon and that product flopped. So it's very risky. Uh, but you can make a lot of money with Amazon FBA. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad business model. You just, you gotta know what you're doing. I didn't know what I was doing. So, um, but yeah, so it's risky. You, you don't have, you don't need inventory. Now this is where I really like it. You don't need customer service, okay? So if you send someone to someone else's product, you don't have to worry about answering questions or uh, you know, doing any of the support on the back end, right? If you send someone to Amazon or someone's online course, the owner of the product does all the customer support, right? You're just 
you're just the middleman, okay? You don't have to worry about all that, okay? That's why this is so passive, okay? Now, you don't need uh, to manage any employees. Um, so, you know, obviously it's not your business. So you don't have, you don't need any employees. Like I've literally ran a six figure per month business by literally uh, just myself, okay? So uh, that's the really cool thing about that. You don't have to manage a ton of employees um, or any employees at all, okay? Now, this is huge, guys. You don't have to deal with refunds or chargebacks. Um, so obviously you're not dealing with, that's not your product, so you don't have to worry about any of the refunds or the chargebacks at all, okay? And then, of course, low startup costs. Unlike Amazon FBA, uh, where you do have to have a big amount of capital to start making money, you don't need that, okay? You can actually start this business model for free. Um, the way I teach you, you need a little bit of money to get started, uh, but just enough so you can uh, build some momentum in the beginning, all right? All right. So here's some examples of products you can promote. And it's you can literally promote anything, but I'm just gonna give you some examples. The first one is an online course, all right? Now this is what I do. I promote other people's online courses. Uh, the reason is because the commissions are the highest because it's a digital course. It's not like a physical product, okay? Now an online course could be anything from gardening, as you can see here. Um, you know, you can teach people stock market, uh, you know, send people to a stock market course, a crypto course, um, how to do affiliate marketing, right, which is basically this program right here. Um, online courses is what I do, okay? This is what I love doing because there's a lot of commissions to be made in there and they're typically higher ticket, all right? Meaning $1,000, $2,000 programs that people want to invest in, right? People want to learn how to do certain things, right? They want to learn uh, anything nowadays, right? There's courses on literally anything, how to be mechanic, how to do stocks, you know, how to garden, how to um, whatever, right? My, my wife recently bought a course on, uh, what was it? Um, how to birth her, her child, like how to have a V-back, okay? Um, so there's so many courses out there, guys. It's literally endless, okay? Now, uh, the next thing is you can do physical products. This is pretty much self-explanatory, so basically, um, you know, you can partner with Walmart and you can sell literally whatever Walmart sells, right? So um, that's the cool thing. You, you can partner with Walmart, Target, um, pretty much any business. Like I would say 90% of businesses have an affiliate program uh, where you can partner with them. Um, Amazon is one of the bigger affiliate programs out there. Um, you can partner with them and sell any of their products as well, okay? Uh, another one here is travel services, right? So you can basically partner with these high-end travel services, you know, and people, they book a $10,000 uh, travel service, and let's just say you send someone to that business, uh, they're gonna give you a kickback, whatever it is, 20, 30, 40%, okay? Uh, the one in the bottom left is subscription services. Uh, now, the, I love this one because it's a monthly reoccurring commissions, and I'll talk about that later, but uh, basically, you know, if you send someone to like a software or a tool that people pay every single month, Obviously, people pay every single month. Like, for example, um, Netflix used to have um, an affiliate program. You can send people to Netflix, and basically, uh, they would pay you every single month, right? Once you get someone to Netflix, you know, um, they're going to pretty much stay on that plan forever. So, subscription services are actually really, really important. Uh, and I'm going to show you that later on and how I utilize subscription services to create passive income. Uh, this is where this is where it really gets fun with my business model here, and then the last one is books here. Now this one specifically is um, is a business book here called Traffic Secrets. Um, but basically, uh, this is called an uh, a funnel here, so you can send people to like a ten dollar book, um, as you can see here, and then throughout here there's different upsells. So you know you can get like the audio book for thirty seven dollars. There's like these online courses, and then you can see here it just goes on and on. So you could basically, this whole uh, product here, I believe you can make like almost $300. Um, and this is called a funnel. This is a little bit more advanced. Uh, this is a, a called an upsell funnel. Uh, but basically, you can do a bunch of different things, all right? So um, you just basically got to choose a product and, um, and then start promoting it. Of course, I'm going to show you exactly how this works. All right, guys, so now you know what affiliate marketing is. Now, I want to show you kind of the wrong way to do affiliate marketing and the right way to do it. And I'm also going to show you the best way to do it, which is something that no one teaches 
and I'm going to show you kind of a secret that no one's ever revealed in the in the marketplace. Now, this is what non-successful affiliate marketers do. Okay, this is not smart. So what you do is you basically just send people to that affiliate product. Okay, so whether it's a Walmart product, it's a, you know an online course. You send people right, like let's just say it's a friend. You send them a link to buy that Walmart product. Okay. Now, the reason this isn't smart is because let's just say you send 100 people to that affiliate product, okay? Now, you probably will get about 5 to 10% people uh, to buy it, okay, which is awesome. You're going to make money. The only problem with it is the rest of the people, you know, 90% that didn't buy, you have no way of following up with them, all right? So that's not smart. You're doing all this work to get people to an affiliate product. Um, and most people are dropping off. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a smarter way to do this in just a second, but real quick, um, just so you know how this works, when you send people to an affiliate product, let's just say it's a Walmart, Walmart product. Okay. You basically send them to a special link that's tracked back to you. Okay. So basically let's just say you want to sell a Walmart, uh, ping pong table, right? Just an example. Um, you want to get that link, uh, that's connected back to you and then send that to people so it's tracked okay so it's really simple you basically have a link that's tracked back to you and then you send people that link and I'll show you of course in day two how to actually put this together and how it all works okay now um, this is the smarter way to do affiliate marketing and this is what everyone teaches okay now the, um, I'm guilty of teaching this method because this is what's worked for years and years I'm going to show you a the best way to do affiliate marketing that is 10 times better than this, but this is still gonna work, okay? Uh, this Most people still do this, it's still gonna work, uh, but basically now what we're doing here is we're sending people to something called a capture page, okay? This page in the middle, you can see my face. Now, the reason you wanna do this is because you wanna collect an email, okay? Now the reason you want to collect an email is because now you can go ahead and follow up with people, right? So if you collect an email, you create this email database as you see here, okay, on the bottom left. And now I can follow up with people, okay? So I can send them automated emails that say, hey, I, I noticed you didn't buy the product, you know, go check this out, okay? So this is what 99% of affiliates are doing. This is still a great business model. Uh, and you're building your greatest asset, which is your email list. And I'll talk about your email list a little bit later. Um, but let's, this is what most people do. All right. Now, this is how my students are crushing affiliate marketing. Okay. And, and there's a reason. And I mean, you guys have seen the testimonials. You guys can go look for them uh, yourself in my Facebook group. Um, but there's a reason why I have so many students crushing it because I'm teaching them the affiliate stacking ecosystem. Now, I know this looks a little bit complicated, but it's really not that hard, okay? But basically, we're taking this business model right here. It's the same concept, right? So we're collecting an email, which is really, really important. That's the main part we're doing. And we're just adding a little bit more, okay? So basically, and, and we'll go over this a little bit later more, guys. Um, but basically what we're doing here is now we're adding on multiple products as well, okay? But not in a way where it gets people to not buy, okay? We do it in a very strategic method, and this is called the affiliate stacking ecosystem. Now, I'm not gonna show you this today because this is just something that, um, it's a, just a teensy bit more complicated. Not that hard because I'm gonna show you literally how to copy and paste this a little bit later. But, uh, but yeah, this, this is the method that's gonna make you a ton of money. Like <laughs> no doubt about it, this is how my students are crushing affiliate marketing. Uh, but I'm gonna show you um, in, in this video, in this training, I'm gonna show you this method because it's an easy way to get started. Um, it'll get you to start building your email list and you know start promoting affiliate products. But of course, I'm gonna show you the affiliate stacking ecosystem a little bit later and how it works. I just want you to keep this in the back of your mind because this is where it really gets fun. This is how you build a business. Um, you know, the, you know, I've been able to build a business from zero to over $100,000 per month now very, very quickly. And uh, there's a reason for that and I'm gonna show you this a little bit later, okay? Okay, so how do we do this? Okay, so step one is we wanna find our main core offer to build our business on. Really, really important, okay? 
So what I mean by that is before you find your offer, we need to find the actual uh, niche that we're going to go into. Okay. So if we go back and I'm just going to go back to this um, here, you can see that we're building our business on a main core offer. Okay. So if we, you know, let's just say we're doing a Walmart product. Um, let's just say we're doing, um, I don't know, a weight loss Walmart product. Okay. Well, you're under the health niche. Okay. And we're teaching people how to lose weight and then you can kind of dive deep. Now, the reason I show this graph and I, I want to show you guys how I go about picking um, like a business niche. Okay. Now there's three main categories that will always make you money and will make the most money. Now, there, of course, there's other niches like painting, gardening, um, all kinds of stuff, right? Literally anything, literally anything that someone sells is their own niche. Okay. But these are the main ones that make the most money and will always be around. Okay. There's the health niche. Okay. There's the wealth niche and there's relationship. These three things will, people will always want. People will always want to learn how to get healthier. Okay. People will always want to learn, learn how to make more money, wealth, and people will always want to increase the relationship. So these niches are the highest paying best niches to get into. Now, when you're picking a niche, you don't want to pick something that is very broad, okay? And that's the, one of the main mistakes I see when people are just starting. So for example, let me just pull myself up here just so you guys can see. If, if you wanted to promote a health product, you want to go a little bit deeper and I want to, you want to go like three or four levels deep. So let's say, okay, I, I want to promote health product. I love health. This is what I'm interested in. Okay. Well, you want to go a little bit deeper, right? Well, maybe I want to promote a weight loss. Uh, product. Okay, cool. Well, there's a bunch of weight loss products and different ways to do weight loss, right? There's paleo, keto, vegan, um, I don't know, uh, Atkins, a bunch of stuff, right? There's so many things for weight loss. So you want to pick a specific niche. That way you can be more specific and you can target a certain audience. Okay. And I'll talk about that a little bit more later, but it just makes it so much easier to sell your products. Okay. Same thing with wealth. Okay. I'm in the wealth niche, but more specifically, I'm in the make money online because I teach people how to make money, but how to make money online. Okay. Now there's so many ways to make money online. There's crypto, there's affiliate marketing, there's Amazon FBA, there's Shopify, e-commerce, literally hundreds of ways to make money online, right? So pick the one you're interested in. Which one do you want to teach people? All right. Of course, I'm in affiliate marketing. I teach people how to do affiliate marketing. But more specifically, I teach people the affiliate stacking ecosystem, which is my own method that I've developed. Okay. We've had over 10,000 people go through um, my affiliate stacking ecosystem training. All right. And then of course there's the relationship niche. There's dating, single men, single woman, divorce. You can literally like, you can target like very, very specific, right? So again, um, you want to be very specific. Okay. So for in the rela relationship niche, we want to maybe teach people how to do dating, right? Well, do, who do you want to target? Do you want, do you want to target single men that want to learn how to date or single women or divorced men or single men with three kids? Like you can get very specific. Uh, typically the more specific, the better it is. Um, of course you still want to have enough people in that niche to, you know, obviously make money and sell your products with. Okay. So that's the first part about uh, is, is finding that niche first, okay, before we find our core product. Now, the next thing is we got to find the product, right? Well, you know, if we go back, you know, we let's just say we found our niche, right? Okay, I want to do wealth. I want to do make money online. I want to do affiliate marketing. I want to do affiliate stacking ecosystem, right? Let, you know, let's just say you wanted to promote my program, for, for example, right? Well what do you want to look for in a good program? And this is kind of, this, this is like what I recommend. All right. Now you don't have to go like, you don't have to look at this and this is how has to be like an end all be all. But like, these are the things I look at before I may, uh, make a uh, pick a core product because you guys have to understand, I'm going to go back to the slides here. Um, let me go back here. We're going to be building this whole business. We're going to be building our whole email list around that core product. So you want to make sure it's really good. And th this is my criteria that I use 
to pick a good product. Again, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how we do this on day number two, but I want you guys to understand the theory first. Okay, really, really important. Okay, so for me, I do like a high ticket product. Okay, I want something that is at least five hundred dollars or more in commission. I want to be able to make a lot of money. I don't want to be able to sell. That's why I don't like the Amazon affiliate program because you're selling, you know, $10, 20, 40, $50 things and you get 10% on that, right? Two, three, five dollar commissions. Not saying it's a bad program, but I like high ticket commissions. Okay. And a lot of people get nervous with high ticket, but it's not hard if you if you find a product that you truly believe in, you're passionate about, and that you know is gonna help people. So that's why I pick a high ticket product. Now the next part, and this is goes along with high ticket, is a high quality, okay? When I say high quality, it's something that is actually gonna help people, right? So if I go back, you know, let's just say we wanna do relationship, dating, and we wanna help single men out, right? Well, we wanna find a high ticket product, but high quality. So maybe there's a course helping single men um, get married, right? Or something like that, or find, or have better relationships, or whatever it is. Um, we want a high quality program that is going to help them, but we also want a high ticket, maybe a $500 course that teaches, you know, single men how to date, right? They're going to pay that because they find a ton of value in that, right? For me, when I was starting out and when I was trying to learn Amazon FBA, if we go back here, um, I wanted to learn Amazon FBA. I paid two, three thousand dollars for a course because I knew that was going to make me more money, right? Unfortunately, it didn't at the time. But uh, but what I'm saying is like you find value in, in a high ticket course, okay? So that's why I want to do high ticket, high quality. Um, and then you, they want to have a sales process. Um, I'll talk about that more later. But basically, you want you know if you send somebody to an affiliate offer. How are they selling them, right? How are they, how are they closing sales? Do they get on the phone and, and close them? Do they have like a webinar? Do they have like a challenge? There has to be some sort of sales process, so that way, uh, you know, if you're, you're you're spending your own time and money or your own time sending people to a product, how are they actually selling them? Okay. Now the value ladder. This is a little bit more advanced, but basically. Uh, what I mean by that is, is there different, um, so for example, let's just say you send someone to a $7 product, okay? Within that $7 product, there may be upsell, so it's called a ladder. So there's a $7 product at the bottom, and then maybe there's a $30 product um, later on, okay? Then maybe later there's a $100 product, okay? So it kind of goes like a step, okay? And then later on, there's a maybe a $500 product and a $5,000 product. That's a value ladder. You don't absolutely need that, but I like to pick a program that has a value ladder because you're gonna make a lot more money, right? That's that's the cool thing about that, all right? Now also with that is you wanna have, uh, let me go back here, guys. You wanna have uh, that company send up follow-up emails, ads, um, you know, like for example, if you send anyone to my program, uh, basically I email those people, I text those people, I run ads to the people that didn't buy, all right? So that's really cool because you spent all this time and money sending people to a product. You want that company to go and follow up with them, all right? And the last one here, this is a hard-coded affiliate program. This is cool. Um, not a lot of programs have this, but basically, if you send someone to, let's just say, my program, and they enter their email, but they don't buy, um, basically that that email stays in my system forever. And if they buy three months, six months later, uh, then that affiliate still gets the sale. All right, so a hard-coded affiliate program is really cool because it hard codes that person for life, okay? And we'll talk about this more later, guys. I know it's a lot to take in, but um, of course, we'll have worksheets to go with this, all that good stuff, okay? All right, so the next part, guys, and this is gonna be step number two, right? So step number one, again, is we wanna find that main core offer, okay? But step number two is we wanna build the actual system. Now, guys, I did mention that there's a wrong way to build an affiliate marketing business, and there's a right way, right? We wanna be building this out for the long term. So this is the wrong way, right? We don't wanna be just sending people to affiliate product. Uh, this is not even a business. now. You know, a lot of people do this because they don't know better or they don't want to spend the time learning the right way, whatever the reason is, right? This is almost like the lazy way to do it. But I don't want you guys to 
to go the lazy route, right? I want you guys to build your business the right way. That way you can have a long-term and sustainable business. Now, this is the right way to do it, right? We're, we're sending people to a page where we're collecting an email so we can follow up. Okay, that, that's all we're doing. We're sending people a traffic, okay, customers. We collect emails on a page that we own, which is this here. You can see my face. And then we send them to the affiliate product. Now, of course, not everyone's going to buy here. And that's why you, you have this email sequence, this email follow-up. And this is all automated, by the way, where they go in and basically um, it, it tells them to continue to buy in the product. Okay. So this is the right way to do it. Uh, this is what literally 90% of people teach. Of course, I'm going to teach you my affiliate stacking ecosystem, but we want to start with this. Okay. This is, this is still a, a six figure business. This is still um, the right way to do affiliate marketing. Um, I just perfected it and I made it better, but I'm, we're, we're going to talk about that later in the challenge. I want you to at least get this started. Okay. Now let's go into why you want to do this. All right. And this is really important. This is the most important part of the challenge guys is the power of an email list okay you can literally print money this is how powerful it is okay now here's an example of my email list here okay over a hundred thousand people 116,000 people on my list so why do I show you this because I can send an email to those hundred thousand people and I can literally print money and that's why I say an email list is like a virtual ATM machine okay and of course I can automate my emails and I can put it all on autopilot, right? So, you know, I can email day one, day two, and it's all on autopilot. Okay. Really, really powerful. Now here's an example of how powerful my email list is. Okay. So this is a uh, launch by my friend Spencer Meekum. Okay. He's a seven figure affiliate. He came out with a new program and he asked me, Hey, uh, w w do you want to promote my program? I was like, sure. You know, he had, 50% commissions, uh, there's a thousand dollar product. And he was like, um, you know, would you help me promote my product? And I said, of course. So what I did is I sent an email to uh, maybe 20,000 people, okay? And you can see here in two days, I made almost $15,000, okay? Which is insane, right? Another, another time is I sent an email here on the right uh, for a new ClickFunnels product and you can see here, um, pending over seven, almost eight thousand dollars made in just a few days. Okay, I like it's just insane, guys, what you can do with your email list. Okay, that's how powerful it is. Right um, now, I'm going to show you how to build this because this is the most important part of this whole program is building that email list. All right, and I'm going to show you even more. Uh, I'm going to talk about how important this is here. Okay, and why this is your most important asset. So, unlike Facebook uh, or YouTube or TikTok, you guys don't own that platform, okay? You don't own any of it. You're basically borrowing their platform. You guys um, can get shut down at any time, okay? Whether it's on Facebook, you have a YouTube channel, you don't own it, okay? They can literally shut you down for whatever reason, okay? Now an email list, you own it. That's, that's the most powerful thing. And you know, for some reason, if an email pro, a provider were to shut you down, by law, they actually have to give you that list, okay? So you don't lose it no matter what, okay? Now let's go over some numbers here. And this is really big because I, this is what I was trying to figure out when I was trying to quit my job. Now, how much do you make per, you know, based on how many people on your list? And let, let, me, let me take off my screen here. But basically, you should be making like on the low, low end, 50 cents to a dollar per subscriber per month. Okay. And I'll explain how that, what that means. Now, if you're more, you know, if you're more advanced, if you've been doing this a little bit longer, like I have, you know, I make two to $3 uh, per subscriber per month. Okay. So let me explain how the numbers work. Okay. And this is going to help you figure out like, what's your number that's going to help you quit your nine to five job. Okay. So how many people on your email list do you need? To quit your job so for me I needed about 10,000 emails okay now it sounds like a lot but it's not because I'm gonna show you how to do this but basically if you have an email list of 1,000 people you know you can make on the low end 500 to a thousand dollars per month okay that, that's on the low end okay guys now I think if you follow my method you can make anywhere between two and four dollars per subscriber per month okay this is just the average 
the 50 cents to a dollar is what average people do okay of course I'm teaching you my method that makes literally way more money okay but let's just let's just go conservative here now if you have 10,000 people on your email list and this was kind of my goal when I was looking to quit my job I needed ten thousand dollars a month or that was just the number I wanted um, you can make anywhere between five thousand and ten thousand dollars a month okay now if you have a hundred thousand people right this is where it gets really fun right this is where you can start making serious cash you know you the goal is just to keep building that email list whether it's 10 people 100 people but these are just the numbers okay these are just conservative numbers that you can look at and why it's so powerful okay now how do we build this email list why would people even give you their email list that's a great question right so what you want to do and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys all this stuff that I'm gonna give you like a free gift I'm gonna give you like a funnel that allows you to build these pages very very quickly but basically you want to exchange an email for a free gift okay this is really really powerful so this is an example here I give people this free book on how to become a super affiliate okay so it's an exchange you give me your email I'll send you the book okay so I say exchange an email for a free gift okay so that's the gift here I'm giving them a free book and I'm gonna grab an email uh, from that book okay so that's all we're doing here and it could be it could be anything it could be a book it could be a, a checklist it could be a free course it could be a bunch of different things it, like as long as it makes sense right so if you're a promoter like a keto offer uh, something that you know you're teaching people how to lose weight with keto well maybe you you say hey well um, here's a free checklist on five restaurants that um, where you can go and eat keto without breaking your diet right that would if someone's interested in keto they would find that free checklist valuable right so you got to really think about what the product is and how you can kind of give someone they some you how you can give someone something they want in, in exchange for that free gift okay we'll talk about that a little bit later of course um, but okay, so step number three guys um, and if we go back I just want to kind of reiterate here again step number one is want to find a core offer Step number two is want to build the system This is the automated system that you only build once and then step number three, right? We build the system we find the offer now. It's all about getting traffic. Okay, you got to get customers to your business now um, This is where I shine. This is where I'm very good at uh, getting traffic um, and this is like what I'm gonna teach you how to do okay because a lot of people get stuck here but it's really not that hard I'm gonna show you kind of the fastest way to do it but also a, a, the, the a way that kind of built you know brings you traffic for years and years to come okay so this there's, there's there's two ways you can get traffic there's a free traffic and there's paid traffic okay now the advantages of free traffic is it's free right you don't have to pay for it okay um, also it gets to, you get to build your brand okay so you know free traffic are things like creating YouTube videos creating uh, Facebook posts uh, going into Facebook groups and, and talking to people uh, creating TikToks, Instagrams anything that you post okay it takes a little bit of time to post all right it builds your brand though because you're building an organic brand now the cool thing about free traffic is the content lives forever for the most part if you create a YouTube video that video will last on that platform forever and YouTube will uh, keep sending you customers and traffic to your programs okay uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about how that works um, you know how free traffic works and the best method to go but um, that's kind of the, the things with free traffic and then of course there's not really any stress with free traffic where you don't have to worry about like spending money and worrying that that money's not going to do anything okay uh, the only problem with free traffic is it's typically slower, um, you know, because you don't you don't control that traffic, right? If you create a YouTube video, you know, you don't control if that video goes viral or not. Now, of course, I I show you how to like get YouTube to give you traffic. I, I have methods to do that, but typically it's slower if you don't know what you're doing. Now, you can get on platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels that give you very fair, very very fast traffic but just in general it's typically slower okay and then uh, of course uh, algorithm changes right Facebook YouTube TikTok they can change their algorithm at any time you don't control that 
So, you know, um, that can possibly uh, be a disadvantage, right? Now, paid traffic, um, this is where it gets fun, right? You can get instant results, right? You're literally controlling the traffic. You tell YouTube, Facebook, you know, I'm going to give you $100. You send a certain amount to my pages. It's instant results, okay? Now, the cool thing about paid traffic is it's laser targeted. So you can target the exact person you want. You know, uh, I want to target, you know, let's just say, you, you, let's just say you're selling a keto course. I want to target um, women over 40 looking to lose weight and, you know, they've tried other programs and they're not happy, right? So you can be very, very laser targeted. Um, and then you can measure everything, which is really important. So you can say, hey, you know, I spent $100 here and I got... $200 back. So yeah, that works, right? So I'm going to put more money here. So $500 and get $1,000 back, right? Or vice versa, if you put $100 and get $50 back, then it's typically a losing campaign. So you just turn it off, right? You have complete control. Now the downside is if you have a limited budget, if you don't have much money, you can't, you have a limited reach, right? So that's the downside to that. It can be costly if you don't know what you're doing. Paid ads is definitely uh, not something that um, it, it's something that you can lose a lot of money in if, if you just don't know what you're doing okay and it does require skill paid ads does require a certain skill set okay and it's sometimes stressful again if you don't know what you're doing if you're spending all this money and you're not seeing any results it can be stressful right so that's kind of the disadvantages of it now I want to talk about paid traffic and like the difference between Google paid traffic and Facebook paid traffic. So Google paid traffic is cool because you find what people are searching for. So for example here, um, these are called keywords. So if people are typing in, you know, affiliate marketing online earning, they type that into Google, I can literally show them an ad. So this is really, really powerful, right? So if people are saying how to make money online at home, I could show them an ad showing them how to make money online from home. So I'm literally showing them um, an ad that they're interested in, okay? Very, very powerful. This is uh, called search intent paid advertising, okay? Now, Facebook paid ads are a little bit different. This is targeting people's interests. So you're not you're not targeting people when they're searching something. They're, you're targeting what they're interested in, right? So you can like, if they're interested in business books, if they like, you know, if they go to like, uh, you know, if you're selling a golf course, you can you can target people interested in golf. Um, so it's a little bit different than like Google or YouTube ads. OK, like, for example, if, if you're doing YouTube ads on a golf course, you would target people that um, want to learn golf. Right. So if they go to YouTube and type in how to how to learn golf. Right. You can literally show them an ad, you can literally show them an ad on how to learn golf. OK. Um, so that's the difference between uh, paid ads um, with search intent and uh, interest based intent. Okay. Now guys with paid ads, I want you guys to understand the value of a customer um, with paid ads and why you want to run them. Now, of course, I'm going to show you how to do affiliate marketing with free traffic first, but I just want you to understand this concept. If you do want to run paid ads, I do have people that just don't want to create any content they just want to run paid ads okay you need to understand this concept all right so let's just say you're running paid traffic from youtube or google ads right you're sending people to an offer okay so let's just say it costs five dollars for someone to see the offer right let's just take this example here this offer is four hundred dollars um so you know it's five dollars for someone to actually see the offer okay now, if you're using my method, we should be we should be collecting emails. OK, again, we want to be collecting emails. That way we can follow up. OK, it's going to make our paid ads worth the time. So here's an example here. OK, this is a conservative. This is a conservative example. So let's just say it costs five dollars for someone to see an offer. OK, let's just say 100 people see that offer. OK, so five dollars times 100 people. That's five hundred dollars you spent on ads. OK. Now let's just say 1% bot, okay? So you'll obviously instantly make $400. Now you're now in the negative, right? You're in the negative, uh, you're losing money, right? But how do we actually, how do we become profitable running paid ads? So 
Again, we want to be building our email list. Okay. If you're not building your email list, your or if you're building your email list, your your audience can now purchase later, right? So here's an example here, right? So let's just say you send emails out on day one, day two, day three, and then day three, someone on that list buys, right? So now, you know, you're at eight hundred dollars with that same five hundred dollars spend, okay? And then day five, someone else buys, okay? So then you're at um, you know twelve hundred dollars. And then day 11, you have two people that buy, okay? So now, now we're making money, right? It may take a little bit longer, right? You know, this is day 11 emails, but people eventually will buy if you follow up, right? If we go back, if we go back to, uh, let me go back over here. You know, if we go back here, if we're just, you know, if we're spending $500 to send them to a product, well, essentially we're going to lose money, right? Because we don't have a way to follow up. But if we're, we're, we have a page that we're collecting an email, now we can follow up with an email sequence. Okay. And this is where it becomes really, really powerful. Okay. So I just want to kind of show you that. Now, if you're doing free traffic, it's not as stressful, right? You don't, you don't have to worry about the numbers as much. I mean, you still want to have an email sequence, but you can kind of see the numbers here and how it would work. Okay. The thing about paid ads is once you know the numbers, you can scale to the moon. And this is where it becomes really, really fun. Um, you know, it took me a while to learn paid ads, but uh, this is what helped me scale my business very, very quickly. Okay. Now we'll talk about paid ads later, but I want to show you guys how to start with free traffic first. Of course, we need to build out the system. That's going to be uh, day number two. Okay. So how do we actually do this, right? How, how, how do we actually make this happen? So day number one, guys. Um, so let me actually go back here. So I'm going to, in day number two, I'm going to show you how to create the system first. Okay. I'm going to show you how to pick a product. I'm going to show you how to create the system once, you know, let's create it once. And then I'm going to show you how to get traffic to it. That's what we're going to do in the three day challenge. Okay. So it's, it's a very intense boot camp, right? We're going to be doing a lot now for day number one. I, I want you guys to do this. Okay. Please, please, please be engaged uh, because you know, we're going to help you if you get stuck. Okay. So I want you to complete this sentence in the Facebook group. Okay. So you should have a link to the Facebook group, um, the three day business breakthrough challenge, but I want you to go in there and post and complete the sentence. Okay. I'm taking the three day challenge because and I want to know why are you wanting to quit your job? Do you want financial freedom? Do you want to travel the world? Do you want to spend more time with your kids? What's the main reason? Write it out. Let me know why I want to see the main reason. Okay. Also, let me know how much do you need to quit your job? Most people are, you know, from my experience, about five to $10,000 a month to quit their job comfortably, okay? So I'm just curious on that. Number two, um, what do you want to name your affiliate business? Now, don't, don't spend too much time on this. Last time we did this, a lot of people were kind of stuck with it. Um, just think of a name um, that you want to name. It could even be your personal brand, right? I could name my business Jonathan Montoya. Um, now my business is passive income lifestyles, but don't spend too much time on this. Okay. Just, just think of a name that you want to name it. Okay. And then of course, let me know your biggest takeaway from day number one. I need you guys to understand what I just taught you. Okay. It's a lot that I went over, but this is, this is going to be the main thing that's going to take you from working a nine to five job you hate to going all in with your online business. Okay. And then day number two, of course, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to show you how to build out this business in about 30 minutes. Okay. I'm going to try to do it in 30 minutes, but we're basically going to have everything up and running, uh, your funnel, your email list, your product picked out. I'm going to show you how to do it click by click, step by step in day number two. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for, uh, joining the three day challenge. Uh, really excited guys. We have a lot more to cover. We're going to actually get into the weeds in the trenches and we're going to show you exactly how to build your business, but more importantly, how we can build this up for the long term so you can leave your nine to five job. We'll see you guys and God bless.